What's up, it's Mr. Bill here, and today I'm gonna to show you how you can double your MIDI outputs to trigger uh, Gatekeeper, which I've been using for quite a while now as my sidechain compressor. So for a while now, this has been my mix template. I've basically just had two groups in my sessions. One is drums and one is sidechain stuff. Um, and that's with uh, the release of Live 10 where you can have like groups within groups. It kind of makes sense now, I think, to just have a whole secondary group where you can kind of just have all your subgroups inside it and then just sidechain everything to your kick and your snare. And this also solves another problem, which actually Live 10.1 has fixed, uh, which is that you don't ever have to put like sidechain compressors on every channel now. So within this group, if you ever wanted to just quickly freeze something, um, that would also be possible. So it kind of solves a couple of, or it solved a couple of issues. Um, and I think I'll still be mixing this way even post um, release of li Live 10.1. But anyway, <clears throat> Um, the way that I set this up is, uh, here, let, let me just play this first and I'll show you what's going on. Basically every time the kick and snare hits, it triggers this volume envelope in Gatekeeper. And I think it just sounds like a really tight way of, uh, to sidechain things. So you can see every time the kick and snare hits, it's triggering this volume envelope. And there's a few ways to do this, but this is the cleanest way that I've found you can uh, go to, so for instance, this channel is my kick drum. So that's, it's a couple of layers here. It's a, uh, let's see, like an 808 operator thing plus um, a kick uh, transient that I made. And then this is a live kick that I recorded. And then I have this fourth chain, which has got an external instrument in it. And notice that the MIDI is triggering, uh, you know, this simpler, this simpler, and this operator. But now this one is sending the MIDI somewhere else. So this one is sending the MIDI to the side chained group. And you'll notice that it says here, uh, gatekeeper. So it's linked into gatekeeper. Also, you'll notice that it's grayed out and that it, it can't send the MIDI to any other place. If I have a second gatekeeper though on this group, you will notice that this isn't grayed out anymore and now I can send it to the other gatekeeper if I want. And obviously if you wanted to send to two gatekeepers at once, you would just have two external instruments and you would just send to the other one as well. <coughs> um, as for how I set gatekeeper up, um, I pretty much just open it and I go to the ducking presets and I select duck eighth and then I hit this button here so it's not free running the envelope. So it's not just like a, an LFO basically. And then I just kind of shape it how I want and just make the curve how I want it. And then every time the kick or the snare hits, cause I do this with my snare channel too. You can see there's an external instrument here with a, with, with a, the MIDI going to the side chain group also, as well as triggering this rack of snares. And yeah, now every time the kick and snare hits it, it completely ducks this with a volume, with a MIDI triggered volume curve. And that just to me sounds so much tighter than sidechain compression. Um, so that's one thing that you can do with external instrument. The second thing that you can do is let's say you have an operator patch or something like that. Like it sounds like this. And you want to add something like serum effects. Serum effects is a pretty good thing to add to, to uh, sounds sometimes. So let's say we wanted to have like, I don't know, some filter. Let's just go something basic like a low pass filter. And then let's um, connect this envelope here or LFO to the filter. Notice when I trigger this with MIDI, it's not, the envelope is having no effect on the cutoff. Well, that's because the MIDI is only reaching operator and it stops there. It's not actually reaching serum effects. So what we can do is we can group operator by pressing command G, uh, sorry, control G or command, I suppose if you're on Mac and then open up this chain. And then if we search our, uh, Ableton for external instrument, you can put this in a secondary chain and then you can say, I want the MIDI not only to go to operator, I want the MIDI also to go to the channel that we're on, which is eight instrument rack. And then you'll notice that it hooks into serum effects. And again, if you have multiple serum effects, this secondary dropdown menu becomes available and you can hook it into different serum effects. <clears throat> so what we get now, if we hook the MIDI into serum effects is when we play this, and put it on envelope mode. You can see that the MIDI is now triggering serum effects. I also know that this this note latch thing, um, but for some reason I haven't had much luck with that. It seems a little bit sketchy and I much prefer doing it this way. So yeah, hope that helps. This is just a you know, quick little cool thing that I've been 
uh, that I've known about for a while and that it seems like um, a few of my friends didn't uh, didn't realize existed or haven't been making use of. But yeah, it's just a nice way to double up the MIDI on your channels to send the MIDI elsewhere to trigger other things such as uh, Gatekeeper for side chaining or Serum Effects for like filter modulation or something like that. Um, so yeah, here's a quick little peek at something I'm working on. And if you like this video, uh, comment, I guess, or subscribe or hit the bang that notification button, bro. All right, here's what we got. Keep the distance is what you're best. Thanks for watching.